Huh. You know, it's been a long time since I've done a Hidden Gems video on this channel, and since nobody in the history of YouTube has ever done one of those, in conjunction with my terrible ideas, eh, let's just do that. Not really a glowing endorsement now, was that? Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and just real quickly before I begin, wanted to let everybody know here that I have recently posted my upload schedule on the main channel page of this uh, channel. So for anybody who is curious as to when I upload videos, you can find that on the main page. Okay, and as for the video today, I got something a little bit different for you guys. Something off menu. Um, I don't really like the way you said that. Instead of just talking about hacks and homebrews on here, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be awesome to cover some of the underrated homebrew games that are out there for the PS Vita? Because there's quite a lot of them, and I feel like there are some that kind of get slipped under the radar. So we're going to be talking about those games today, and make sure to tell me what homebrew games you play on your PS Vita, and what you think is underrated. Now, here is the first game that I feel needs a bit more of that PS Vita TLC. Now you might be looking at the gameplay on the screen right now and thinking, oh James, what the heck is this? Minecraft meets a fighting game? And uh, yeah, actually, yeah, well, yeah, it pretty much summed up the whole game right there. So is the video over already? No, not at all. There's a lot more to it than that. Now, what if I was to tell you all that there exists a fighting game that mashes up such franchises as Street Fighter, Naruto, Darkstalkers, with a little bit of Attack on Titans for good measure. Oh, and with a host of other franchises too that I'm not even going to bother to get into because because this video would go wait on too long. Seem completely random? Yeah, I can't believe this game exists, but then again, this is homebrew, so uh, kind of comes with the territory, I guess. And the first thing many people will notice when they first lay eyes on this game is it's somewhat uh, subpar visuals. I mean, I'm not saying the game looks bad, but it is rather blocky. I mean, just look at these visuals. Am I drunk? Did I eat that mystery package meat that was behind the refrigerator again that your family warned you not to eat? The answer to that is yes. Yes, I did. But believe me when I say here, guys, don't let the looks fool you when it comes to this title because it is a super solid fighting game. And each character that is represented on screen is represented well from their respected source material here. Mmm, blocky Kakashi. It's like a dream come true. And much like in classic Street Fighter fashion here, you can pull off an array of combos, aerial combos being my personal favorites. But don't worry, it doesn't get ridiculous like uh, these games did. And because of the licensing nightmare this game Game would have no doubt suffered from if it was ever released as an official game. If you ever wanted to see the likes of Soul Bad Guy go up against one of the characters from Naruto, um, <laughs> your dream has come true. Not um, sure how many people out there have actually dreamed about that, but um, hey, it exists now. Oh, and guys, solid frame rate, am I right? So if you've been looking for a new fighting game on the Vita and have exhausted all of the official releases that the handheld had, I think this will make a very nice substitute. Heck, you might even like this game over some of the actual official stuff. Heck, I know I do. Well, with the exception of Arcana Hearts 3 Love Max. I mean, that features waifus. You just can't compete with something as awesome as that. Keeping on our theme here with fighting games, at least I think this is a fighting game, could this be a recent LSD trip I had? Had to bring drugs into this now, didn't you? Well, no, but the definition of homebrew can be taken many ways. I just went with the non-appropriate version. This is Super Mario Wars, and as you can expect, it was not endorsed by Nintendo whatsoever. And if you're someone from Nintendo who is actually watching this video right now, just forget what I said. Now for all the gamers out there who absolutely love Super Smash Brothers, one thing has probably kind of crept on our minds throughout the years. What would the franchise have looked like had it come out before the N64 era? Hmm, inquiring minds need to know. Not that that question has kept me up all night or anything, but it really has. Well, Super Mario Wars attempts to answer this question because that's basically what this game is. It's Super Smash Brothers if it was on like the Super Nintendo or something. So for those out there who are not familiar with the whole Smash Brothers lore, this is basically a 2D platforming fighting game where you have to be the last man standing. And you do this by either stomping on each other or using a whole host of array of items from classic Mario lore. You can also bump each other off the level too, which is not very nice. And much like with Vita Fighters, it's solid controls and frame rate all around. But what makes this game stand out so much, at least in my eyes personally, is that it features, believe it or not, a level editor where players can create their own levels for others to play. So Super Mario Maker isn't the only Mario Maker that exists out there. I don't know, I was gonna be making some sort of cringy pun, but I kind of forgot about it. So if playing a Super Nintendo style Smash Brothers on your Vita, on the go I might add, sounds enticing to you, this one will satisfy thee.
Now continuing our theme here with fighting ge- Oh wait, this isn't a fighting game, this is a shooting game, never mind. Everyone, may I have the pleasure of introducing to you Zombie Bound Reloaded. For the longest time now, we in the PS Vita community have been wanting a new Call of Duty game, and, well, I guess this is sort of like it, I mean it has zombies, but hey, you can shoot stuff! Although it does share similarities with the Call of Duty spin-off, so there's that. There are a total of three stages in this game, and it's up to you to defend yourself against a whole army of zombies. I mean, hey, it's a shooting game featuring zombies so I'm pretty positive we were all expecting something around that line. And if things become too overwhelming for you, the game gives you the option to do such things such as board up the windows to hopefully keep yourself safe for a little while longer. I mean, if this was me in real life, I'd just be dead. And like with many FPS shooters out there, the game gives you the option of having multiple weapons throughout your experience. Your main default weapon, of course, being an infinite ammo sort of deal that deals just okay damage. But if you want some of the higher power weapons, they will be available with limited ammo. Oh man, we're trying to Resident Evil up things up in here, up, up here. And thus you can show those Zambas who's boss. Man, this game is so deliciously violent. I don't have issues whatsoever, but if I did, I would certainly most definitely take them out on this game. You do have issues. And everyone, that will cover my personal opinion of games that I feel need more love when it comes to the homebrew community on the PS Vita. But I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. What games do you play that are homebrew that you think more people in the community need to play? Post your suggestions down in the comment section below where we can all learn from each other. And hey, maybe you'll see one of your picks in an upcoming video. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including David Ray, Skullshare Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Wendy K, Adam Thury, Aaron Swanson, H Hitter, Pierce Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelly, Erock, Kevin Enright, Lori Sweeney, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, PS Vita S, Himdal Imbert, Saul Ramirez, Clayton Merlarkey, Adam Sondi, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Jamie, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Artie, Mozgus, Romp King, Tasha Monti, Donut Valley, Eric DeWitt, Jackie, Juan M. Hermesio, Azumara, Verzen Mystery, Cobble Trappa, Kayonko, Saki Balam, Jesus Hernandez, Smug Wolf, Mushin Ryu Cat, Alan Iwazuk, Milk Sama, Neo Rashi, Shin Snake, Reiko Star, Joseph Razmik, Matt Fox, Frieden, B Mystery, Zacrito, Pablo Tornantino Mejia, Makis Blob, and Robert Johnson. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screener, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh man, I talked about an unofficial Nintendo release on this channel. Why do I get the feeling that the Sword of Damocles is descending upon me? 